many ways, the Wii U Pro Controller is the most familiar controller Nintendo has ever created. It looks, feels, and functions like the Xbox 360's controller, and that's not a bad thing. The Pro Controller has all the same buttons as the 360, although some are in different positions. It has similar select and start buttons, a home and power button, the familiar four face buttons, two triggers, ZR and ZL, two bumpers, R and L, two analog sticks, and a D-pad. The triggers are digital, not analog, which means they only have one input sensitivity, on and off. This is a bummer for games that require a precise trigger input, like racers and shooters. That D-pad is the typical and very familiar Nintendo D-pad, and it works flawlessly. It's not mushy like 360s and responds with a level of precision that makes it a fitting trademark of Nintendo. Nintendo's patent on the D-pad actually expired in 2005, so it's possible we'll see next-gen consoles with similar D-pads, but for now, this is all Nintendo fair. Like the Wii U gamepad, the analog sticks are symmetrical, perfectly aligned on the same vertical axis. Nintendo's symmetrical sticks aren't ideal, but they're surprisingly easy to get used to and by no means a deal breaker. The Wii U Pro Controller is targeted at hardcore players, but a few omissions are absolutely baffling. First, the Wii U Pro Controller doesn't include a headset jack, so voice chat will need to be done through the Wii U gamepad. When you consider how short the gamepad's battery life is, 3-5 to five hours, and the fact that the gamepad will need to sit next to you on your couch, and that the Wii U gamepad requires an outlet to charge, you can already tell how crappy that lack of a headset jack is going to be for hardcore gamers. Secondly, the Wii U frequently requires that you do simple actions through the gamepad, so you can't perform certain functions like changing system settings from the Pro Controller alone. This propensity to rely on the gamepad demeans and muddles the Pro's place as a standalone controller. A few other quirks abide, but none of them are fatal. For instance, holding down the power button starts the Wii U, but not your Pro Controller, so you need to press the button and hold it, or vice versa, to start both up, which is certainly not devastating, but definitely weird. The Wii U Pro Controller has impressive battery life, 80 hours. Better still, when it's time to charge it, you can use any micro USB cable, which you probably already have plenty of. Unfortunately, the console will need to be turned on to charge the Pro Controller, but you can always charge it with your computer or laptop's USB, and it only takes 4-5 to five hours to charge completely. That 80 hours of battery life is pretty much unprecedented for controllers. Simply put, if you like the Xbox 360's controller, you'll like the Pro Controller. They're largely built from the same mold. Nintendo's kept the profile slim, and the ability to charge with a micro USB cord is a huge win. Symmetrical sticks won't be for everyone, the lack of a headset jack is ridiculous, and the high gloss finish shows off gross smudges at all times. But for $49.99, you can already tell the Pro Controller will be the go-to option for games that don't rely on the gamepad's myriad features. So, for all things Wii U and tech, keep it locked to IGN.